under the hood LED lighting for the Toyota Tacoma. And no, I don't mean this. Everybody, how are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. I'm going to install some underhood lighting in the Toyota Tacoma. I've been looking for a solution for this forever, and finally, it, a bell just went off. A light went off, and uh, I figured out what I'm going to do. So I ordered something uh, off of Amazon, actually, and I'll leave a link down below to this if anybody's interested. But here it is. I've already taken out of the box because there's enough unboxing videos on YouTube. Uh, what it is, it's an LED light strip with uh, adhesive backing so I can stick it wherever I want it. Um, if you look at the instructions that also came with it, they show it kind of right in the middle of the hood towards the front. That's what I'm going to do. It also came with a little alcohol swab so you can stick this thing on. Some uh, various pieces and parts, some zip ties, and then of course the wiring and a fuse. Now, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. They gave kind of a pressure kind of switch thing here that you're supposed to put in a hole somewhere, you know, like maybe here um, or drill a hole somewhere or whatever, but I'm not going to do that. And I'm not doing that because I have the Trigger 4 accessory system here. Now, I have two extra or unused spots. So what I'm going to do is wire that to my existing system here. Uh, it comes with these extra wires you can see here. So all I have to do is wire it to this and then via that plug, plug it right into one of the open ones that I have and then I can control it with a switch right here or even the remote inside the truck if I wanted to for some reason. But you can just push one of these switches here um, and you can control it that way. So that's how I'm going to do it. Um, I think it should work out pretty well. I'm going to run it kind of the same way as this tubing here that you see is run that direction, except I'm going to run it over here, bring it down along the side of the fender here. We'll put it underneath that piece and then connect it all right here. I've gone ahead and wiped off this area. This is where I'm going to put it, right along here. Um, I've just used that alcohol swab that came with it to kind of clean this off. Uh, pretty simple. So now we just need to take this backing off, which can sometimes be a pain. Okay, that came off pretty easily. Now, we've got to stick this thing up there, get some, some good adhesion going on under here. And again, I'm just going to put it right on this lip. Um, hopefully to direct the light down on the engine and not in my face. That looks pretty good to me. So then, uh, we'll actually just run the wiring through these holes, maybe under these panels, I'm not sure, down there over to that side, and then we'll deal with it over there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run through, I think, this hole here, and, and then over that direction towards maybe that hole, and then down to the side. At least that is my plan at the moment. So let's see if I can manage to finagle this thing through there. I think I'm going to try to get behind uh, right up in here. I'd ideally like to hit this hole and that'll line me up. So I'm going to try that then we'll come back on. I'll show you what I found. Okay, what I've done actually got a little lucky. This wire actually fits behind the structure, the support on the hood. Um, so you can see there, uh, I've got it coming out, and then it's going to go across here, right down there. And then I'm going to try to fish a wire uh, through this hole. Let's see if you guys can see it right here, because that'll put me straight shot in line down to the corner there, where I can then run it to the front. So, I need to go ahead and pull it the rest of the way. Maybe I can do it with one hand, let's see. Yeah, I think I can. So, I'm going to just pull it through like so. Of course, we got stuck. Look at that. What are the chances of that, right? Pretty good, I guess. Um, pull it right through. That's the plan. Stand. Like so. 
And that puts it nice and tight all the way up, right? Uh, let's see, I can even get behind that a little bit. There we go, so it'll be nice and tight through there uh, once I get it pulled through. Now, I'm gonna try to fish a wire, like I said, right up through this hole here. And let me give you some perspective. There's where that hole is. Uh, so I can get it down through here going towards that corner. So let's try that next. Okay, success there. We've got it running through uh, right over here. And now all I have to do is pull the wire on through over here and we'll be through all the hardest part of running this, I think. So far it's gone very smoothly, uh, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and pull this the rest of the way through. There we go. Let's pull that fairly tight. Now I just have to get down here through the corner and feed it back up this way and uh, we'll be ready to connect it up almost. This is uh, almost too easy. Okay, real quick, here's what I've done. I just kind of zip tied it right around the other side here um, and then it goes down to where it comes into that hole. Uh, you guys can see right down here at the bottom. Next, I'm gonna run it down along this channel uh, right here uh, up to the front and that's pretty much it for running the wiring. So I'll do that next. Okay, real quick, you can see how I've got it run down from the corner there, uh, just through the supports actually behind the trim piece that I removed, uh, which by the way is very simple. There's just a push pin uh, right up here. You have to remove that, and then that piece is just held on uh, by pushing with little slots against these little holders. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Pretty simple. So now, um, I think I'm going to actually bring it through this hole, uh, maybe this hole, and then that's going to drop my wire right here, right there, right down there, which is actually perfect uh, for what I'm trying to do. So I'll do that next. Okay, got everything wired up here to my switch. Again, this is just a part that comes with my switch. If you don't have the switch, then obviously you'd probably go a different route like that little plunger thing I showed you in the beginning. But it's all hooked up. Now, the one thing I will say with mine, because uh, I don't have constant power to that switch, the light won't come on unless I have the ignition on or accessories, I guess. So I'm going to go to the truck, turn that on, and then I hook this up to number one, it looks like here, because that was just the easiest uh, to route the wire. So if I push this little button here, it should, in theory, uh, light up. We're going to see. I did go ahead and put the fuse in there, by the way. It's, uh, I forget where, it's down here somewhere, right there. There's the fuse. So I did go ahead and include the fuse they sent. So let's go ahead and uh, see if it works. A moment of truth, I have the accessory switch on in the truck. We should just be able to push number two, uh, or number one, I should say and it should work so here we go there you go it's on check it out there we have it let's turn it off there you go pretty cool so that is the light again it's just number one right here on the switch here I'll hopefully get you guys in there you can see it go off you can see it go on and that's it. That's how it works. Isn't that awesome? All right. So now all I have to do is slip this little cover back on. That's pretty easy. Brought this wire underneath, which again is pretty easy. And then I'll zip tie this bundle of wire here to what's down below there. And we'll be finished. Okay. Final check. Got everything put back together. You guys can see here the side rail or the side cover is back on. Uh, everything is secured down there. By the way, I did move the ground wire that I had for my uh, Trigger 4 Plus. It was back here and went across the battery. I grounded it down there. Much better location. But let's go ahead. I have the uh, remote control switch with me this time. So we're going to use this as opposed to directly off of the switch itself. So here we go. Let's see what happens if I can get them both in there. I have it at number one. I labeled it fridge because it doesn't have anything else. Here we go. There you are. There is my under the hood light. Let's see how well it lights it up. 
pretty snazzy, I think. Again, we are outside in bright light, but it uh, does light it up under there. I could do some working under there if I wanted to. Pretty cool. Okay, that's it. That's the uh, under the hood Tacoma light, or under the hood Tacoma LED light, I guess. Uh, pretty cool little project, not too bad to do. Um, I will say that, again, if you don't have the Trigger 4 accessory controller, um, you can use that little plunger thing. I wouldn't have had an issue using that. I would have put it probably in this hole here, maybe, so that when the hood came down, it would, or went up, rather, it would uh, activate the light, possibly even down here, and maybe even over here. There's all kinds of places you could put that little plunger thing, so I don't think that's even an issue. You could even drill a little hole in this plastic cover and put it in there if you wanted to. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I now have underhood lighting, and uh, it's pretty darn slick. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Also have a third channel now. It's Rob Motive Civic, all about my past Civic loves, the Civic Hat Sport and the Civic Type R. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on your way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.